At the Capitol, no-fault auto insurance has been a hot-button issue, but the debate became even more heated after a 2019 reform that changed coverage. Proponents said the reform would save Michigan drivers some money, while critics said all it did was take away care for those who have been catastrophically injured. Today, the state Supreme Court ruled those injured before the reforms will continue to receive full coverage. R.L. Myers has the details from the Michigan Supreme Court in Lansing. It's a ruling advocates had hoped for for years. Early Monday morning, the Michigan Supreme Court upheld a lower court ruling saying that those who had been injured in car crashes and began receiving care before the 2019 change to auto no fault need to have that care maintained. It's a significant win for about 18,000 Michiganders. Today, all of the people injured before this law was implemented are protected. They're going to be okay. We've lost, I think, 15 now that we know of directly as a result of, of this change in the law. And that's that's heartbreaking. The change in auto no fault applied retroactively to Michiganders who already relied on care like Howell and her son Sam, who she cares for. Providers were capped at 55% of what they charged previously, which created a significant financial strain. From what I understand, 30 programs like ours close. Other health care providers stopped providing services to auto no fault clientele and they closed their doors. To, you know. So from the statistics I've heard, there were over 6,000 workers in this area that lost their jobs. The Michigan Supreme Court ruled 5-2 to two on Monday that insurance providers are still bound to honor their policies that existed under the law when their clients were injured. Quote, the 2019 no-fault amendments do not clearly convey an intent to retroactively modify these vested contractual rights, Justice Elizabeth Welch wrote in the majority opinion. But I think for the vast majority of people injured before 2019, it's going to be their life will get better, which is great. Dr. Andery's wife, Ellen, was badly injured in a collision with a drunk driver in 2014. Andery and Philip Kruger were the plaintiffs in the lawsuit. Andrew tells me he expects care to get better for these patients. The problem is, is after the people who were injured after 2019, what's going to happen with them? And the legislature, you know, in my view, is absolutely dropping the ball. Advocates tell me they breathed a sigh of relief on Monday morning, but their work isn't done just yet. This does not fix everything, but it fixes a lot for those who've been injured in a car crash prior to 2019. But what it doesn't do is provide a fix for folks who are injured after 2019 or who will be injured in the future. Now, advocates tell me there are bills in the legislature that would address the issues surrounding people who were hurt after 2019. We'll keep an eye on movement on that legislation. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Mel Myers, CBS News, Detroit.